I V M. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey. This is Storytellers and story sellers live on tape. You're listening to me, Vineet Kanabar, on the IVM Podcast Network. Every episode on this podcast, you will hear... People who are creating great entertainment or helping make it happen behind the scenes. We talk to storytellers and story sellers on every single episode. And I'm always excited when there is a musician on the show. You might be familiar with some of the episodes we've done with iconic musicians. We had Usha Uthup on last month. We have The Evil on this month as well. Today, I'm talking to Darshan Doshi. Darshan Doshi is a drummer and a composer who has worked on Bollywood films such as Rock On, Black, Doom 2, Bhag Milka Bhag, Queen, Secret Superstar, Fitur, Dear Zindagi, basically every good film in the last <laughs> 10 years. He tours with Salim Suleiman, Farhan Akhtar, Adnan Sami, Dilji Dosanjh, Amit Trivedi, and he is an integral part of Coke Studio India and MTV Unplugged. Darshan was lauded in the Limka Book of Records, and, and you love this, as the youngest Indian drummer in 1997. He is an inspiration to many with his work in music and in bringing drum learning to India by initiating drum camp, drum camps, similar to Drum Fantasy Camp in Chicago and the 21 Drums Camp in Ireland. These are the ones that he represents the country at as well. Over his illustrious career, Darshan has been associated with many bands, including Fusonica, Akriti, Defying Gravity, Tapasya, Nakshatra, and of course, the Darshan Doshi Trio. Darshan, I think that's just... an amazing introduction i i don't think anyone has got like that kind of a star studded introduction <laughs> yet on this show welcome to storytellers and story sellers thank story you thank you, thank you so much for joining very us sweet introduction of well, you know saying everything i think pretty much you've covered <laughs> most of it but yeah <laughs> thanks so much yeah i mean i loved reading that out and i'm going to go into a bunch of things but before we start talking to darshan we will be back after these messages on storytellers and story sellers this is vineet kanabar we're on ivm podcast don't go anywhere You're the people pleaser, right? Oh, yes. Or then desperately seeking the one? Oh wait, you're the one who doesn't think they're ever good enough. Oh. So much drama, and for what? Is it doing you any good? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm Chetna, your favorite positive action coach. Yes, I'm the one who has been dropping all those truth bombs on every episode. Oh no. And it's time you learned to say no to drama. That's also what my podcast is called, and a new episode is out. Every Monday and Wednesday on the IBM Podcast app website, as well as all major podcasting platforms. And we're back. We're talking to the accomplished drummer, composer, musician Darshan Doshi. We're doing this in studio. It's my second episode back. I'm very excited. Darshan sitting across me. We're having a cup of coffee, and we're going to start talking music. Darshan, let me get started by asking you about your first accomplishment. that that i read and i was just like wait what so <laughs> darshan is about i would say a year older than i am born in 86 and in 1997 at the age of 11 right or 10 or 11 right 11 he was he entered the limka book of records as the youngest indian drummer at the time right i think darshan you started playing music at the age of 2 if i'm not mistaken yes and in about 9 years time you had all of this tell us what early music was like for you right and here's where i'm coming from there are prodigies and then there are people who who really practice and learn and everything right but you're clearly in the former bracket how does a prodigy then really start getting amazing at at what you do how what was your early years like so firstly um, obviously my name came at the age of 11 in 1997 but my father being a musician and uh, someone who really loves to collect things and tries to like you know whether it's a picture to a video to a everything he has he had collected from the age of 2 so i started playing at the age of 2 my father was also a teacher and he runs his academy in juhu which is called the manoranjan music academy so the minute i was born in the house i could just hear drums tabla keyboard violin guitars everything is like there like you know you can hear everything going every morning i get up right and him being a drummer actually uh, you know pushed me to become this because uh, back in the day when he used to play with his band he had this massive drum kit with lights on it and he had this look that he had on stage and i was like 
man, this is so cool. This is like really amazing. I really want to do this. So that's where my first thing towards drum happened. And uh, I think when I was around 18 or 20 months uh, old, uh, he saw me playing on the table like this on, mm-hmm. you know, just to a FM channel while going on and some song was playing and he saw me playing in time. So that's where he realized, man, this guy already has some sense of rhythm in him. And that's where my training kind the of... The genes have worked. Yes, he, yes. He realized, he paused gaya. Exactly. <laughs> so that's where my journey started. Right. He started teaching me some basics of drums and, you know, then I started attending his concerts. And in every concert, I used to have a little five-minute performance uh, wherein I used to play some, you know, Garba rhythms. I come from mm. a Gujarati family, so obviously right. Dandia and Garba are like the, the biggest grooves to learn first. Right, absolutely. Uh, so that's where it all started. And then he obviously used to play Navratris and stuff like that. So I used to, uh, you know, go with him and started slowly, slowly like, uh, you know, playing with him, like with a smaller set that he bought me at the age of, I think, four or five. I think I got a, a really cute drum set no, made. That's in, such a cute visual. Made in I mean, Kolkata. I'm yeah, sure very he's like massive thing in yours. Is I'm like a small <laughs> this thing in there. And then I used to get my five minutes feature too during the concert. And uh, I think during one of the concert, I think when I was six uh, or seven, is when the composers Kalyanji Anandji, right. they were there at the concert and they saw me playing this five minute performance. And during 94, they were planning this band, which was called Little Wonders, right. which was a three hour concert only by kids. So singers, musicians, dancers, mimicry artists, you name it. And it's a three hour concert only by kids. Right. And they were trying to form this band. So that band obviously had Sunidhi Chauhan, Shreya Goshal, Aditya Narayan, Divya Kumar, you know, Akriti Kakkar, all these amazing artists who've become really big now. Right. And uh, so that's where my journey started with, with them in 1994, where I used to get like a 10 minute performance with a very amazing tabla player called Ojas Adia. Again, he's a phenomenal tabla player right now in the current scenario. And uh, so we started like slowly touring. And then we, you know, my first US tour was in 97, where I was, you know, 11 years old, taking like a big suitcase alone, going for a one month tour. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, and luckily my school that time, you know, uh, like we had this first term exams and my principal when she came to know, she was like, no, you need to go for the tour. Mm-hmm. Your exams will happen after March. You can give, you know, generally, March yeah. mein yeah. final term. So, I gave the final ke baad first semester ka exam diya tha, just because for she understood how big this tour was for me as a, as an artist. Right. And that's why I really, you know, used to love my school, Utpal Sangvi school here in Juhu. And they really supported me as an artist. So, that's where this whole journey started. And, by the age of 11, uh, my father had uh, so many videos and photographs for all these concerts that I had performed in America, London and Australia that he, one of his friends suggested, why don't you, you know, he's been playing for so many years already. Mm-hmm. Why don't you put this to the Limca Books of Records? Right. So he put one, this big file and he sent it to them. And hardly within like 25 days, we got the uh, letter and the certificate saying that we declare that he's the youngest. Oh, that friend. must yeah. have been like such an amazing feeling, right? At 11, it must have been like, Yo, I'm I'm going somewhere. <laughs> the best part was that you know I was really like you know everybody wanted to take a picture in the school because my right. my photo came in the Bombay Times like front page during that time. And one day I was there in school and I get a call saying that the principal has called you and I'm like man now what did I do? I have not done anything wrong though. And the principal told me that you know these are the this she gave me about twenty five numbers of magazines and everybody who wanted to interview me and right. like everybody's calling the school because the Bombay Times says that he's from Utpal Sangvi school so everybody started calling the school because they didn't have my number right. and then they connected them to my father and then yeah that's Man, what, that's 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 fun. an amazing like Man. start to the career. Let me ask you this before before we move on to talking about more of your work. Now I am a failed musician. <laughs> right, I can't play an instrument, not for want of trying. Right, I mean, I'm also I, I used to sing. I still sing in my bathroom, and but I used to sing sing with a band. I tried very hard to learn instruments. It just didn't happen for me. Right, I still think that I can play decent four by four, but I can keep a beat. Right. And agar four by four chal raha hai, to main. Right. Guitar, guitar, I can't play. I've forgotten all chords I knew. Right, so I am the classic case of a musician who seems to have some talent, but even practice doesn't seem to get me anywhere. Right, you're on the other hand, someone who has who was born into an environment of music, obviously with immense natural talent. And then you've spent so many years practicing it. I think you're the perfect person to ask this question. What percentage is it talent and what percentage is it hard work? See, uh, 
पहले तो आपको ये जो जो म्यूजिक का एक क्या बोलते हैं ब्लेसिंग होता है ना वो एक तो थोड़ा ऊपर से आता है लाइक यू नीड टू बी ब्लेस्ड विद लिटिल बिट ऑफ म्यूजिक कोई लोग ऐसे मतलब होते हैं कि मतलब एज यू सेट लाइक मतलब कुछ भी कर लो वो रिदम में नहीं यू you नो know, कुछ कर सकते या फिर वो सुर लगता ही नहीं है मतलब कितना भी आप रियाज कर लो बट वो है ही नहीं आपके अंदर तो नहीं हो सकता तो फिर वहाँ छोड़ देना चाहिए ऑब्वियसली देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हार्ड वर्क ये देर इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टैलेंट बट आई फील फॉर मी टू रीच दिस लेवल टूडे आई हैड टू इवन बींग माई फादर बींग म्यूजिशियन एंड एवरी थिंग बींग देर द विजन दैट आई हैड फॉर दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड वेयर आई वॉन्टेड टू take this and where i wanted to see myself mm. was very very far it's still very far right. i'm still on a journey but you need to really put a lot of hard work you know i used to practice 6 to 8 hours a day you know focusing on different genres of music because i always felt that i don't want to be in like one band or or one setup i wanted mm-hmm. to explore you know all kinds of music so whether it's pop rock fusion music you know i learned tabla for 10 years to understand what is indian rhythms all about you know we have so much amazing information in this country actually half of them don't even use it mm-hmm. unfortunately but if you see the north and the south the carnatic music and the indian classical music it is it's insane and especially for a rhythm player there's so much information so i right. really wanted to explore that not that i wanted to be play like ustad zakir husain which i can never do but i wanted that information which i can then use it in on drums right you know and when i communicate and when i when i share the stage with a tabla player or a mridangam player i exactly know what he's playing right so for me to answer him back becomes very easy so all these things are there you know and especially because we are in bollywood you know there are so many songs which has indian grooves and uh, so usme kya hota hai wo jo ek swing rehta hai indian grooves ka hmm. वो जनरली बाहर के ड्रामर्स या वेस्टर्न ड्रामर्स जो ओनली ड्रम सीखते हैं वो वो स्विंग उतना समझ नहीं पाते right, right. अगर आ, आपना जो साउथ का एक सिक्स एट का एक जो ग्रूव रहता है उसका एक जो मजा है राजस्थानी का एक राजस्थानी ग्रूव के जो एक स्विंग का एक मजा है तो वो मुझे जानना था सो दैट वेन आई प्ले दोज ग्रूव आई शुड बी लाइक इन इन सिंक विद दैम यू नो सो दैट्स वाई आई स्टडीड दो थिंग्स आई स्टडीड वेरियस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जॉनर्स ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड ऑल्सो आई वॉन्टेड टू नॉट साउंड like somebody who's playing tabla on drums you mm-hmm. know so first i was like first i need to play this instrument the way it needs to be played and where i can learn that only in the west because right. it comes from there right? right so i started understanding you know the masters from there from the 1960s like buddy rich and tony williams and and that's where actually my guru uh, mr ranjit barot mm-hmm. uh, who's again a phenomenal uh, drummer composer from india he's the son of sitara devi ji when i joined him as a student he really opened like a completely different door for me right. uh, with drums and i was like acha ye to aise baj raha hai aur main itne saal se ye baja raha tha matlab you know what i'm saying i was i was more on the indian style of drumming right but i didn't have that whack of a of a western drummer right you know? so when i joined him is where this completely different uh, universe opened for me and pehle ab 3 mahine to mujhe bola ke aap aap drums ko हाथ भी मत लगाइए right. आप मैं आपको ये दो तीन फोल्डर सीडीज के दे रहा हूँ वो टाइम पे ऑब्वियसली सीडीज थी जो हमें बर्न करनी पड़ती थी तो उन्होंने बोला कि ये ये है इसका ये एल्बम ये एल्बम ये एल्बम आई वांट यू टू जस्ट लिसन टू दीज टेन टू फिफ्टीन एल्बम्स एंड आई विल मीट यू आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स राइट तो पहले उन्होंने मेरा पूरा वो साउंड भी बदल दिया कि भाई ये ड्रम्स बचता कैसे बिकॉज वो टाइम पे ना यूट्यूब था ना इतने ईजिली अवेलेबल थे हमारे पास डी या वी जो कैसेट्स होती थी तो कभी चलो कोई यूएस चला गया तो वहां से हमारे लिए लेके आ गया तो बात अलग है बट अदरवाइज इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच टूडे जनरेशन इज लाइक ओवर लोडेड विद इन्फॉर्मेशन के कहाँ शुरुआत करे वही नहीं पता अभी सो आई वेंट द हार्ड वे आई हैड टू लाइक यू नो एक एक सीरीज के लिए एक एक डीवीडी के लिए मतलब रुकना पड़ता था एंड दैट्स वाई उसका एक इम्पोर्टेंस भी था मेरे पास बिकॉज वेन आई गॉट दैट नो आई यूज टू पूरा उसको निचोड़ता था था मैं right. कि हर गाना क्या है कैसा ग्रूव बजा रहा है क्या ये बजा रहा है इसका सिंबल्स कैसे बज रहा है डायनामिक्स क्या है उसका बजाने का तो आई रियली वेंट इन टू डिटेलिंग ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड दैट्स वेयर अ कम्प्लीटली एज आई सेट कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट यूनिवर्स ओपन फॉर मी एंड देन देर ऑन ऑब्वियसली आई जस्ट वन बाई वन थिंग्स स्टार्टेड फॉलोइंग इन टू प्लेस आई मैट शंकर एहसान लॉय एंड देन फ्रॉम देर ऑन रॉक ऑन हैपन अगेन वन ऑफ द ओनली फ्यू एल्बम्स वेर आई वेर अ ड्रामा हैज प्लेड ऑल द सॉन्ग्स जनरली आजकल तो 
प्रोड्यूस्ड ही हो जाता है कभी कुछ एक गाना एक ये फिल्म में बजा लिया कभी दो गाना वहाँ बजा लिया बट जनरली पूरा एल्बम साथ में लाइव करने को कभी नहीं मिलता तो रॉक ऑन वॉज वन दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी विद शंकर एहसान लॉय गिव मी एंड इट वॉज एन इंक्रेडिबल एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग वन विद डैम फॉर ऑलमोस्ट अ मंथ एंड हाफ ऑन दिस एल्बम and then from there on yeah coke studio mtv unplug and and from arm on to amit trivedi i've pretty much played for everybody love it absolutely yeah. love it what i'm hearing from you though is that and what i'm hearing it echoes what i've heard from other really people who are really accomplished at what they do is that your natural talent is god's gift what you do with it and how you do what you do with it is very important exactly. and, I, and i love the humility with which you said yaar एक इंडियन ट्रेडिशन भी है एक वेस्टर्न ट्रेडिशन भी है आई मे बी मोर सूटेड टू दिस वन बट द नॉलेज आई कैन गेट फ्रॉम आइदर विल मेक मी अ बेटर ड्रामर दैट ओपननेस दैट ह्यूमिलिटी आई थिंक इज 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 क्रिटिकल टू लर्निंग वुड यू अग्री absolutely i think you have to keep as a good musician if you really want to reach that level you need to keep your ears open all the time right uh, you need to be a good student because ye aisa na it's like a ocean aap jitna bhi sikhoge wo kam hi hai कभी ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकते कि हाँ मैंने तो हो गया मैं सब हो गया ऐसा तो आई हैव उस्ताद जाकिर हुसैन विल नेवर से दैट लाइक यू नो सो इट इज लाइक अ ओशन यू हैव टू जस्ट इट्स लाइक अबाउट हाउ मच यू आर एबल टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट यू नो दैट इज व्हाट इट इज ऑल अबाउट एंड हाउ यू आर एबल टू पुट दैट आउट म्यूजिकली कुछ कुछ लोग होते हैं कि बहुत सारा इन्फॉर्मेशन है और जब भी कुछ मौका मिलता सब इन्फॉर्मेशन एक साथ दे देते हैं तो फिर उसमें क्या होता है कि वो म्यूजिकलिटी रहता नहीं यू हैव टू प्ले दैट स्पेसिफिक नाउ आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल लाइक व्हेन आई यूज टू प्ले विद समबडी लाइक अ हरिहरन जी ही कम्स लाइक द होल गजल फॉर्मेट हिज सिंगिंग इज वेरी डेलिकेट यू नो पीपल कम टू लिसन टू दोज लिटिल न्यूएंसेज ऑफ हिज सिंगिंग सो फॉर मी एज अ ड्रामा आई कैन जस्ट गो एंड गो क्रेजी ऑल आउट लाइक यू नो रोल्स एंड फिल्स ऑल द टाइम यू कैन डू दैट सो with him it was different when i play with adnan sami he comes from a, again a, a lot of indian grooves dholak par ekdam complicated grooves kabhi kabhar rehta hai to unke sath ek bajane ka maza alag hai when i play with salim suleiman they love to have a very produced and a very big big sound kind mm-hmm. of first space so unke sath ek maza they, they also play a lot of stadiums in that sense yes, right so yes yeah. yes so that's what i'm saying for me to understand that ke acha musically inko itna dena hai inko itna dena hai inko itna dena hai so it's like i'm not even overplaying that but i'm there doing justice to the music and that's why i keep getting calls back from them because they are happy with what the because he as a drama drama is the backbone right? right if i if i hold it down the groove then they can fly over it yeah. you know yeah. so as a musician kabhi kabhar wo bahut zaruri hai ki when to play and when not to play love it zyada tar log when not to play pe zyada dhyan nahi dete sabko when to play ke mujhe kabhi और पचास रोल बजाने मिले एक ड्रम सोल मिल जाए उस पर ज्यादा बट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बट इस बारे में मतलब टू थिंग्स जस्ट पॉप्ट इन टू माइड एक्चुअली सो मेनी थिंग्स पॉप्ट इन टू माइड बट आई टू ड्रिल डाउन टू टू आई थिंक फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट आई ऑलवेज पॉइंट टू डार्क साइड ऑफ द मून एज अ एज अ ग्रेट ड्रमर्स एल्बम राइट लाइक टू कीप द बीट ऑन सच अ डेलिकेटली कंपोज एल्बम still not make it overpowered and still be a rock drummer right Absolutely, like yeah. i think that's 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 just, just when you said harir and sab or playing like that that just popped into my right, head right, right. Like, just the it's comfort musicality of, just Absolutely. that you know you you do justice to music there you right. know uh, that's as a soloist when i do say like the darshan doshi trio where it's like just three of us and we are all going crazy because that's a different that's a jazz fusion genre right. you know where all the three need to be at this level right. there is no koi support hai hi nahi piche ये तीनों को ही इट हैज टू बी फुल पावर देर लाइक यू नो सो उसका एक मजा अलग है सो आई लाइक टू बैलेंस माई यू नो माई म्यूजिक वेर इन आई डू कमर्शियल म्यूजिक विच इज इज एक्सट्रीमली क्लोज टू मी एंड यू नो आई रियली इंजॉय डूइंग दैट बट जो एक दर्शन दोषी का ड्रामर का एक जो कीड़ा है वो मैं दर्शन दोषी ट्रियो में उसको निकालता हूँ वेर इन पीपल आर वॉचिंग टू कम द दर्शन दोषी द ड्रामा यू नो सो दैट्स वेर आई वॉन्ट टू देन गिव देम दैट 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 फन बिकॉज आई नो दैट पीपल वो आर लिस्टिंग टू मी आर 85% musician that is where the virtuoso drummer comes out <laughs> yeah. in that sense right if i may say so it's very interesting because at least the way we con- we've consumed rock music right the lead singer you have the you know axel rose archetype or the you know kurt cobain archetype right. and you know, big rock stars guitarists have these you know huge things and they are like shredding and all of that and then the drummer is there in the background but when i meet a drummer like you right who's really down to the instrument and looking at the width of its application and learning it's very 
it's it's pushing the envelope on what is understood to be running. Let me ask you this, and you may tell me I'm I'm completely wrong, right? And this also has something to do with your turn as a composer, also, right? So, especially drums today, you have programmed sounds everywhere, right? Like you said, rock on a live drummer on all the songs, okay. super rare. I would say even some bands don't record their studio drums <laughs> live anymore. <laughs> right? Right. It's just a machine okay. at some point. I mean, you may sure be a great producer of drums and every single nuance you recreate on the right. on the machine, right. but it's still not live drums, right? Absolutely. How do you how do you view that both as a musician as a composer? Is that machine your enemy? Have you found a way to make friends with it? How how do you look at that? I think it's it frankly depends on the composition. with me and my brother when we are composing and when we are making songs for us we've always maintained the live element right. because i feel that ek jo live banda ek energy lata na gaane mein right. wo kabhi bhi koi bhi machine wala wo kabhi create nahi ho payega because kya ho gaya ke हमारे पास दस लाइब्रेरीज है वो दस लाइब्रेरी सब प्रोग्रामर्स के पास है तो आप इनको सुनो तो उनका गाना भी वैसे सुनाई दे रहा है इनका गाना भी वैसा सुनाई दे रहा है तो कोई एक इंडिविजुअलिटी रही रही नहीं कोई बात में यू नो व्हाट आई एम कि पहले यू न्यू दैट पंचम दैड वन साउंड टू इट लक्ष्मीकांत प्यारे इज लाइक फुल पावर फिफ्टीन ड्रम्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ढोलक्स ट्वेंटी ढोल्स इट्स लाइक फुल पावर एंड यू कैन यर दैट यू नो बिगनेस इन दर साउंड राइट वो आज की डेट में एकदम ही गायब हो चुका है बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज साउंडिंग वेरी सिमिलर एंड वेरी थिन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी राइट राइट तो वो मी एंड माई ब्रदर एज कम्पोजर वी फील दैट के एटलीस्ट हमें जहाँ मौका मिलता है और हमने कितने जो भी छः सात गाने अब तक किए हैं वी ऑलवेज मेड श्योर दैट एटलीस्ट द गिटार्स द बेस इफ देर इज समू नो स्ट्रोक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और फ्लॉटिस्ट और और ड्रम्स और एनी थिंग इफ द ट्रैक रियली डिमांड्स दैट वी रियली पुश फॉर द लाइव एलिमेंट एंड फिर कहाँ कहाँ अगर कुछ ये कॉम्प्रोमाइज़ करना पड़ता है तो देन वी मेक श्योर कि कितना मिनिमली उसको कर सके बट वी रियली इन्जॉय द द लाइव साउंड मोर बिकॉज आई फील एक एक वो जो टीम का जो एनर्जी एक गाने में आता है ना उसका मजा कुछ साउंड इज डिफरेंट वो ह्यूमन टच कभी मेरे हिसाब से वो मशीन को नहीं कर पाएगा इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज वो एक जो ह्यूमन एरर भी जो होता है ना वो भी जरूरी है यू नो नहीं तो सब कुछ ऐसा लगता है एवरीथिंग इज लाइक रोबोटिक राइट यू नो देर इज नो स्विंग इन इट देर इज नो लाइक इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट कुछ कुछ प्रोग्राम है जो काफी अच्छा प्रोग्राम भी करते हैं ऐसा नहीं है बट As music composers, we would always want to do live in all our, all our albums. Love it, love yeah. it. Let me ask you this related question: Your turn as a composer, right? And okay, of course, you're a, you're a prodigious drummer, and I know your brother plays the keyboard. If yes. I'm not mistaken, yes. how do you guys make it work? How has that evolution been for you working with him? How are you making it work? So with him, it's pretty cool actually. Uh, we have both the sides sorted, which is the harmony and the the rhythm right. side. Uh, he's there, you know, taking care of the the melody and you know making sure you know obviously the lyrics and everything is fitting well. And and then I come into the whole arrangement part about how the the sound of the track needs to be. What are the elements we are going to use? Uh, and then obviously sitting on the mixing and mastering and all that process as well. So I think it's a good balance that we have. And uh, over the years. Uh, एक्चुअली उसको भी पहले ड्रमर बनना था right. तो उसने भी थोड़ा सा ड्रम सीखा हुआ है बट माय फादर फिगर आउट कि यार ये दो ड्रमर थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा एक ही एक ही घर में हाँ, <laughs> तो थोड़ा तो उसको उसको बोला कि भाई तू एक काम कर थोड़ा तू कीबोर्ड सीख ले राइट right. तो ही स्टार्ट की बोर्ड एंड देन ही इज ऑल्सो सिंगर ही इज ऑल्सो संग दिस न्यू न्यू सॉन्ग विद अनुषा मनी एंड रफ्तार दर आई आई स्पोक अबाउट ऑन द ग्रेट इंडियन मर्डर दैट जस्ट केम आउट राइट सो ही देन स्टार्ट लर्निंग सिंगिंग एंड देन सो देन वी हम लोग काफ़ी ऑलमोस्ट आठ दस साल से ये सब कर रहे हैं बट बिकॉज वी वॉज सो बिजी विथ आर लाइव कॉन्सर्ट्स एंड जो कमिटमेंट्स थे इतने सारे बैंड्स के साथ तो वो कभी टाइम नहीं मिल मिल पाया उसको करने के लिए बट देन आफ्ट लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स बैक वी रियलाइज दैट नाउ वी शुड रियली गो इन टू कम्पोजिंग एंड यू नो मेक श्योर दैट वी डू एज मच स्टफ विथ आई द इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिक अपने यूट्यूब चैनल पर कुछ करके या फिर नाउ इट इज ऑबियसली द वेब सीरीज एंड द ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म इज कम्प्लीटली ओपन गेट्स फॉर एवरीबडी हू कैन इफ यू हैव गुड स्टफ विथ यू एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू यू नो गेट इट टू दैम आई एम श्योर इट्स ओपन द डोर्स फॉर एवरी वन डेफिनेटली Right. There's there's so much potential, so much opportunity. I'm so glad that you and 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 your brother have have found the time to do this. Let me ask you this before we go into a break, right? You talked about the sort of Indian drum tradition or the tabla tradition or or Indian instruments, and you talked about the fashion. If you can, like we are, you know, like the five year old kid that I am. If you can explain 
maybe in two or three simple axioms, what one can learn from the other? Or what have you learned? Maybe three things. See, firstly, uh, not just drums. Any instrument, you have to understand where it was born, where it was root, you have to understand You have to go back all the way up till there. I feel that the instrument is where it was born, if you have the technique, you know, because that's the that's the key. Now, today when I play a three-hour concert, you know, people get, oh, you must be, you know, you do six concerts in a week, you know, three hours every day. You must be getting tired. But the the, the thing is that because I've got the technique down, mm. that I don't have to put that much energy, you know. Right. I do, like, for a drummer, if, if any drummer is listening to me right now, everything happens from the wrist and the, and the uh, fingers, right. you know. I don't use the arm that much. Right. You know, everything, all the power comes out and there are different techniques like molar technique and kafi sare, obviously, uska to pure ek alag workshop master class karna okay. But uska, uh, if you get the right technique from the, the instrument, then I feel your 50% of your job gets sorted. So what I did was to, I was, for me to get my rudimental stuff, my foundation, uh, the technique, how I sit, how I tune my drums, I learned everything from the West. And then once I got really comfortable with that, then I started putting the Indian information onto it. Right. You know, wherein kuch tabla ke bol jo gaya ke tabla ke kuch jo kaide bolte hai, chakradar bolte hai. There are different talams in that. You know, and slowly I went into Carnatic music. So then I started taking all this information and then started using in in my composition if you have heard the uh, track bandish blues from the the darshan doshi trio album again that has a lot of elements of carnatic music and, right. and and classical music and stuff like that so i always like to do this this fusion of you know west and you know uh, uh, this part of the country so right. uh, so that's what i would say like you know these are the two things agar agar aaj main tabla sikhta hu so it's for important for me to come to india and learn tabla right. i cannot learn tabla in canada Right. You know, so aaj koi bhi instrument, agar aap Latin music ki baat kare, ya fir African music ki baat kare, agar aap jembe bajana chate, authentic jembe bajana chate, you have to go and live the life in Africa. Right. You have to understand wo log khate kaise, pite kaise, kya music ho raha hai, raat ko jabhi masti ho di, to wo kaise ho rahi hai, wo sab pura bhoat, aapko wo life jina, exactly, life, yeah. bhoat important hai wo. Right. Tab ja ke aap wo instrument ke ikdam andar ja sakte ho. Right. Tab ja ke aap wo instrument ke ikdam andar ja sakte ho. That's why for me, whenever I started getting these tours abroad, after the tour, I always used to stay back for a week. Right. I went to Nashville, I went to Chicago, I went to New York. I wanted to see ke unka kya hai life wahan. You know, what is that, what, what are they living, what are they eating, what are they drinking, I want to know everything. Right. So, jab tak koi banda deep utna nahi jayega na, tab tak aapko wo instrument ka maza nahi aayega. Love it. So, Love that's it. what Absolutely. it is. Beautiful. We're going to take a quick break and be back on Storytellers and story sellers after these messages. If you're a cricket fan, check out Edges and Sledges, India's favorite cricket podcast. The podcast focuses on Indian cricket, the IPL, and has a ton of banter both on and off the field. We talk about the week's biggest cricket stories with current and ex-international cricketers, coaches, or sometimes just between us. And it's hosted by me, DJ. Me, Varun. And me, Ashwin. New episodes release every week. You can catch us on the IVM Podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. Check out the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast. And we're back. We're talking to Darshan Doshi about drumming. This has been a fascinating episode so far. Before we went into the break, Darshan was talking about how two things are important. One, if you're learning an instrument, uh, whether it's in the Indian tradition or the Western tradition, understand the technique best. The technique is what makes it easier to play the instrument, play it right, and not get tired even when you're playing three-hour sets every day for six days a week. The second thing he said, which is very interesting, almost like a ethnographic understanding of music, right? If you're going to learn the djembe, figure out how life and culture is in Africa. If you're learning to play a punk four-piece, you figure your own things out from the streets of London, maybe. It's a very interesting approach, right? It reminded me, at least the first point, reminded me of a story back from my college band. We used to have this great guy when the band was started. We used to have this great guy who used to play the drums with us. We were very like, you know, 17, 18 year old guys mm -hmm. playing music and we didn't know what we wanted to play. Eventually, we started playing funk and this guy had well, poor technique. Mm. He would play the drums with the neck of the stick, which creates a very sort of loose chush sound from the hat right. instead of a crisp, funky sound, right. right? And 
I'm very sad to say that that got him fired from the band. Exactly. Right? At one point, we were like, "Listen, it's just not working out." And the guy we replaced him with, the guy who, I mean, whenever we still play, he plays drums for us. The first gig we played, the first college band competition we played with him, we won. Right. So it's so important for your drummer's technique Absolutely. to be on point because that makes that made the whole difference from us. struggling to qualify for the finals to winning immediately so True. just a story from from my ancient history to share with you about drums back to darshan doshi let us talk about your time working in bollywood i think i read out an illustrious name this illustrious set of films that you worked with how is it different to work on a film versus working on maybe your own band or the stuff that you're doing yourself right like here you have so much control but there you're you know playing to to a brief Absolutely. playing with the with the director how have you you know sort of made that process work so for you so firstly to jab the naya naya shuruaat mein kuch mauka mila to wahan to fir i was still learning because it was very new to me so i remember my first पहला रिकॉर्डिंग भी मिला तो कौन सा मिला मतलब सीधा संजय लीला बंसाली सामने बैठा है ऐसा मतलब वो मिला क्या तो मतलब या सो द कंपोजर मॉन्टी शर्मा हुज अगेन अमेजिंग कंपोजर ही केम टू वॉच वन ऑफ द फ्यूजन कॉन्सर्ट्स आई वाज वर्किंग विद पार्थिव गोयल सिंगर एंड ही सॉ मी एंड लाइक अच्छा कल एक गाना रिकॉर्ड कर रहे इस फिल्म में ब्लैक करके एक मूवी है उसमें गाने है ही नहीं तो मैंने अच्छा तो फिर कौन सा गाना रिकॉर्ड कर रहे <laughs> तो बोले नहीं नहीं एक ही गाना है कुछ वो प्रमोशनल जैसा कुछ गाना हो होएगा वो सो आई सर ओके कूल सो वी वेंट टू दिस अंधेरी दिस आवाज स्टूडियो एंड फॉर माय फर्स्ट टाइम आई डिन डिन इवन हैव अ लाइक अ अ आई वुड नॉट से लाइक अ लाइक अ प्रो किट आई वॉज जस्ट गेटिंग देर लाइक यू नो इट वॉज ओके ओके लाइक यू नो and uh, my first experience with the mics and with the you know wearing headphones or ye sab to obviously wo time pe to tha nahi in years or ye sab to wo right. wo tha nahi to doing all that and then mr bansari also was there uh, during the recording as well so it was amazing it was uh, for me it was like almost playing like a live gig only but me jaake thoda controlled environment mein usko main baja raha tha बट देन लेटर ऑन ऑब्वियसली एक बार वो मौका मिला फिर मेरे को लगा कि भाई अभी मुझे ये सीखना पड़ेगा आई नीड टू नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट वॉट गोज इन टू अ स्टूडियो रिकॉर्डिंग फ्रॉम द माइक्स टू द ड्रम्स हाउ आई मैंग ट्यून इट यू नो उसको माइक का डिस्टेंस कितना रहता है सिम्बल से यू नो द स्किन दैट आई यूज वेदर इल बी कोटेड हेड्स और इट विल बी क्लियर हेड्स तो फिर वंस आई डिसाइडेड आई वॉन्ट टू डू मीन्स आई रियली गो डीप इन टू दैट एंड लकली बाई रॉक ऑन एटलीस्ट मुझे वो थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस मिल गया था दिस वॉज टू थाउजेंड फोर आई थिंक आई रिकॉर्डेड ब्लैक एंड देन टू थाउजेंड सेवन इज वेन आई डिड रॉक ऑन राइट एंड देन फ्रॉम देर ऑन ऑब्वियसली इट्स बीन इट्स बीन फन नाउ आई रियली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ थिंग्स वर्क आउट इन द बॉलीवुड सीन एज वेल दूसरा और एक चीज़ सीखने मिली कि जब भी आपको मौका मिलता है तो अभी मुझे तो पता नहीं मुझे कौन से टाइप का गाना बजाना है दे जस्ट अमित त्रिवेदी विल से ओके कम टुमारो टू यशराज स्टूडियोज ना आई डोंट नो वॉट इज बीन थ्रोन एट मी एंड आई हैव दैट मच स्पेसिफिक विंडो यू नो दीज आर ऑल वेरी एक्सपेंसिव स्टूडियोज यू कैन जस्ट टेक योर ओन स्वीट टाइम देर सो यू हैव टू बी बैंग ऑन लाइक यू नो सो वो भी एक समझ में आया कि हाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कंपोजर वो स्टोरी क्या है वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट ही लाइक्स एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दैट विद इन टू टू थ्री टेक्स यू विल बी आउट यू नो सो काफ़ी कुछ एक्सपीरियंस से काफ़ी कुछ चीज़ें सीखने मिली ट्यूनिंग ये सब के बारे में स्टूडियोज के बारे में तो आई रियली इन्जॉय एक्चुअली लाइफ तो मुझे मज़ा आता ही है बिकॉज वो एक क्राउड का जो एनर्जी रहता है वो अलग मज़ा रहता है बट वाइल आई वॉज यू नो रिकॉर्डिंग फॉर ऑल दीज मूवीज लाइक इवन फॉर धूम टू आई वर्क विद दिस अमेजिंग प्रकाशन इज तोफिक कुरेशी वेर एन वी प्ले ट्रैश कैंस एंड बकेट्स एंड इफ यू सी दैट होल ऋतिक रोशन इन द गराज दिस थिंग दैट इज बीन क्रिएटेड बाई तोफिक कुरेशी जी एंड आई वॉज पार्ट ऑफ दैट द टीम एंड द होल थिंग वॉज गेटिंग रिकॉर्डेड तो ये एक अलग चीज़ें सीखने मिली उनसे अबाउट हाउ टू अरेंज रिदम and uh, that really helped me while i was you know producing stuff for cook studio with Le- leslie lewis and amit trivedi and hitesh sonik and salim suleiman on how to uh, make uh, create rhythms and how to uske where four people are if also playing how can each one of has their own parts mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so just getting into detailing of understanding rhythm in in a, in a much better format so bahut kuch seekhne mila itne usme so kafi kuch bol sakte hai ki maine kaam pe hi seekha hai ye sab cheez hai ke i was thrown at it and then you i had to figure out my way case mein main kaise sakta jaise aur ek incident yaad aaya rock on ke time 2006 obviously i i was I, not into that much into double pedal right to suddenly pata chala ki ek gana hai jo band mein aisa koi dusre band pe form hone wala hai but uska drums aapko bajana hai right zehreele karke gana tha and i am like when i heard the song i am like 
Okay. Like full power and I'm like, I have to play double bass in this. There's no other way out. And I was not that good at it. Right. And I told Asan, you know, you know, give me a couple of days. I just want to make sure that I, I really nail this song. You know, locked myself again, couple of days of Man, you know, double bass. Man, I have locked out to that song so much. <laughs> yeah. It is such an underrated song on that album, first yeah. of all. It is, and it's got this like driving double bass behind it. Yes, it's, yes. it's insane. That's amazing. So yeah, as I said, that these things I didn't get a lot of time. I mean, it was like, I had to record a song. देख लीजिए क्या करना है आपको अभी सो या यू गोट बी क्विक चैलेंज इट्स अ चैलेंज ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव टू राइज टू इट एंड एंड आई लव द फैक्ट दैट वाइल यू वर आल्सो पिकिंग अप यू नो द टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इट कोर म्यूजिकलिटी आल्सो वाज बीइंग पुश्ड फॉरवर्ड विद राइट लाइक योर म्यूजिकल चॉप्स लेट मी आस्क यू वन स्लाइटली इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग राइट लाइक यू मेंशन हैविंग अ YouTube चैनल एज़ वेल नाउ एज़ अ म्यूजिशियन नाउ यू हैव बीन डूइंग दिस फॉर 30 प्लस इयर्स social media has been around for maybe half of that now how much importance do you place on projecting a musician image onto social or how important do you think social is now for you i think it's extremely important now agar ye cheez aap mujhe 10 15 saal pehle puchte to obviously main mana karta tha but uh, i think aaj ke time mein bahut bahut important ho gaya ke to have that balance of yes you need to firstly work on your craft work on your you know whatever whether you are an instrumentalist or a vocalist get your act together first with that and then when you come into the into the market as uh, you know into the industry mm-hmm. is when you need to have the balance of both you right. know i have seen some really amazing musicians but people don't know them right you know and that's when i realized that sirf gana bajana to wo to kar hi rahe wo to wo hamara main cheez hai but utna hi abhi aajkal you have to be uh, you know more active on social media you have to be on instagram facebook all that you know do your reels and stuff like okay, that yeah. and that's what it is so i i always feel that you know you need to move with the world uh, if we are heading towards that ways then you know you got to be with it like you know and but make sure that that should not become your focus right. you know wo sirf it is just a part of me doing that to promote my music right. right i only use the medium to promote my music but it's not that ke jab bhi mujhe koi bolta hai ke sir aapko din mein do post dalna hai aapko the mahine mein ye karna chahiye aapko ye i don't believe in that right. i just feel that if my content is good and if i'm putting out good music then it will reach where it has to reach you know sure. and right. i will surely push it you know if i have to do interviews if i have to do some you know talk to some magazines or whatever wo aajkal wo pura ek process ho gaya right. that there has to be if an album is releasing on the 20th you will start promoting it from the 5th and every day there will be something then you come up with Real challenges yeah. and it it's become a part you know you got to do it uh, if you want to really push your music to that level and specifically for independent music wo bahut important hai because सी कमर्शियल म्यूजिक में तो लोग पैसा डाल डाल के उसको प्रमोट करते ही है यू नो दो दिन में 20 मिलियन व्यूज हुआ है बट किसको पता है 20 मिलियन कैसे हुआ है क्या हुआ है वो तो हमको ही पता है तो व्हेन एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट आर्टिस्ट यू हैव टू डू इट बाय योर सेल्फ देन यू हैव टू यूज दीज मीडियम्स यू नो राइट एंड इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग फ्रेंकली यू नो टुडे इफ माई म्यूजिक इज एबल टू गो टू पीपल इन जापान कोरिया से कोई आज बोलता है कोई बांग्लादेश से पाकिस्तान एवरी वेयर इट्स बीन गॉन थ्रू स्पॉटिफाई एंड पीपल आर यूरिंग एंड सेंडिंग मी ई मेल्स मैसेज ऑन सोशल मीडिया सो दैट्स वॉट इट इट्स मेड द वर्ल्ड लाइक रियली क्लोज नाउ यू नो सो आई फील दैट यू गोट टू यूज इट वाइसली बट डोंट बिकम अ सिक्सटी सेकेंड द म्यूजिशन राइट बिकॉज वो एक थोड़ा डेंजरस हो गया कि जो आजकल के लोग हैं उनको लग रहा है कि वो बस एक मिनट बजा ली तो हो गया बट भाई एक मिनट तो तुमने इंस्टाग्राम पे बजाया है बट जब ही जिंदगी में तीन घंटे बजाने पड़ेंगे तब क्या करेगा तो वो एक बैलेंस होना दैट्स वाई एम सेट दैट पहले आप अपने क्राफ्ट और अपने आर्ट पे काम करिए बिकम एट एट सम प्रो लेवल लाइक यू नो एंड देन यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग दिस टू प्रमोट योर म्यूजिक आउटसाइड you know instead of starting with social media then you are in deep trouble my friend right. because then you're doing it for yeah because then, then, then you will you will see this guy playing right. great for right. 60 seconds and the minute you call him for a recording you'll be like man he can't even play play on click right so that is a very dangerous uh, <laughs> scene to happen nowadays and that's why I, i tell even the youngsters and even the drummers who who learn from me on a regular basis that spend time you know it's okay to get into the scene after a couple of years but when you get into the scene you got to be a monster because words to live by whatever people throw at you you should be ready with it in your back kya charge kya rege gana to rege gana aaj kya kawali kawali you have to be ready wahan ja ke fir nahi bol sakte bhai ye nahi main nahi kar sakta 
So that's what I believe in that you get better at your craft and use these tools to to push your music. Love it. Absolute words to live by. I think every musician, not just every musician, anybody who's invested in being good at it and has some part of you know promotion as part of what you're trying to do, get good at it first, then promote it. Tashan, let me ask you this, and I'm very intrigued to know your answer about this uh, because of the variety of artist roles that you play. If you could talk us through the three best business decisions you took as an artist, stuff that has helped you build longevity in your career, stuff that has helped you evolve in your career, stuff that has helped you also start leaving a legacy in your career. Business wise, I feel that the one thing that I kind of made a good decision was to balance both the worlds, mm -hmm. the commercial world as well, where it's all about, you know, Bollywood and doing, you know, whatever, 150 concerts a year. Uh, but also uh, maintaining that, okay, I need to also work on my music and mm. also work on my craft and become a better drummer. Do you have a principle so, for that? Some people say it's ek unki, ek apni or something like that. But do you have a principle like, like, you know, for me, I think anything that I do, if I... Uh, if I if I really love it and if I want to do it, I'll give my two hundred percent. फिर वो भले भजन भी शो हो तो उसको मैं मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता because एक बार आपने हाँ बोल दी कोई चीज के लिए करने के लिए तो you need to be two hundred percent. I don't like people who लोग अरे ये क्या Bollywood music है ये क्या and then suddenly they are uh, they also want to play and make money out of it right. but they 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 think that it's shitty music right. just because they are into some different genre of music. So I feel that should not happen. I think you should respect each genre. Uh, you just need to be a little more realistically as a musician that agar aapko aaj, if you want to live in Mumbai, you want to live a, a good lifestyle, if you want to, you know, um, have a family and all that, everybody has responsibilities and, Absolutely. you know, bills to pay. Yep. You got to be, un, have a good balance of doing commercial work, but also make sure that you are somewhere able to do your independent stuff and keep that going forward as right. well. Like, you know, because wo musician, I have a lot of people who are पहले जैसे जमाने में रहता था आप म्यूजिशियन तो है बट काम क्या करते हैं यू नो तो वो आज टू कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड वेर इन आई एम श्योर पीपल लाइक से मे बी सम यंग म्यूजिशियंस यू आर लिसनिंग टू अस यू नो देयर पेरेंट्स माइ नॉट बी अलाउिंग देम टू टेक दिस एज अ प्रोफेशनल थिंग सो दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू गेट दैट ब्रेड एंड बटर राइट तब जाके योर पेरेंट्स विल बी लाइक हाँ चलो एटलीस्ट ये बंदा सॉर्टेड है फिर अगर आपको लग रहा है कि आप आप मेटल बैंड में बजाना चाहते हैं तो आप बिल्कुल बजाइए नो प्रॉब्लम बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली अगर आप ऐसा सोचेंगे कि, कि मुझे सिर्फ मेटल ही करना है देन आई यू इन द राइट कंट्री टू डू दैट राइट यू नो डू यू हैव दैट मेनी प्लेटफॉर्म्स डू यू हैव दैट मेनी स्टेजेस वेर यू कैन डू दिस यू नो इज वॉट माई पॉइंट इज एंड कैन यू रन योर हाउस बाई डूइंग मेटल म्यूजिक इन इंडिया राइट देर आर बैंड डन इट एज वेल यू नो आई डोंट नो वेर दे आर एंड वॉट दे आर डूइंग राइट नाउ बट it's just that i just felt that i have to be more real you know when it comes to being a, a, a musician in india i i, I so love wo, wo balance hona bahut zaruri hai so wo, wo i think mera ek better ek decision tha ki maine mm. dono dono commercial aur independent music ko uh, you know i kept it at the same level and made sure that i'm able to do both and enjoy both the worlds i love it i think this is the choice right the choice is either you expose yourself as a musician to a variety of stuff that pays the bills or you do what you really love and then get an IT job. Exactly. Right? I exactly. mean, it's, that's the choice you're making. Correct. Absolutely. And for anyone who's a passionate musician, I think the choice is pretty simple. Right. right? Unless you are, you know, one of those people who are so caught up with what is considered, you know, cool or what is considered, oh, nahi, this is not my style of, of whatever. It's a very interesting answer. Let me ask you this and as we sort of bring this around to, to close, I get, so much more context now for for what um, shout out to Rani Kaur uh, what she told me about what you've been up to past few years as well right you've been part of international drum circles you've been attending I think it's called the drum fantasy in yeah, Chicago the, yeah. and then there is the 21 drums in, in Ireland, in Ireland. Yeah. and you've been trying to replicate something like that in yes. India right yes. now again like I am a five year old who knows nothing about this side of music tell me what, what you're hoping to achieve and, and what's the pull सो फर्स्टली पहले जब भी मैं गया वहाँ मैं ऐसा कोई भी कुछ प्लान नहीं था कि मैं वैसा कुछ इंडिया में करूँगा बट एक ही था कि मुझे लग रहा था कि इन 2014 के यार आई एम प्रिटी मच प्लेइंग द सेम थिंग यू नो थोड़ा एक एक हो जाता है कि आफ्टर अ सर्टन पॉइंट यू गेट स्टक समवेयर लाइक यू नो येस आई एम प्लेइंग विद द बेस्ट इन द बिजनेस येस आई एम डूइंग एवरी थिंग बट आई स्टिल फील दैट आई नीड टू पुश माई सेल्फ आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट द ड्रम फैंटेसी कैम्प वेर देर सिक्स ड्रामर्स 
some like some of the biggest names in 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 the drumming scene and they were doing this camp there was a drummer who was great in drum and bass there was a drummer there was mike manjini from dream theater uh, there was benny greb who's great with jazz fusion there was steve smith again a, a legend when it comes to jazz music so ye sab alag alag genres ke drummers ek uh, chhat ke niche teen wow. din ke liye aa rahe the like the avengers of drumming yeah basically wohi tha <laughs> सो so, मैं बोला भाई ये तो मैं अपॉर्चुनिटी मिस नहीं करने वाला भले कोई शो आ जाए टू आ जाए कुछ नहीं फर्क पड़ता ये जो है ये वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम वाला अपॉर्चुनिटी है तो सो देन आई वेंट देर एंड देन वेन आई सॉ द द कम्युनिटी देर दे वर अबाउट थर्टी थर्टी फाइव ड्रामर्स फ्रॉम ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड जापान बोलो से यू नो सैन फ्रांसिस्को एवरी वेयर दे पीपल वर कमिंग अंडर दिस रूफ एंड द थ्री डेज का कैम्प कम्प्लीटली लाइक यू नो ब्लू मी ऑफ एंड आई एम लाइक मैन ये अगर मुझे चीज पंद्रह साल पहले मिली होती तो यार क्या होता यार मतलब आई कुड हैव बीन वेयर लाइक म्यूजिकली आई वुड हैव बीन यू नो सो रिच एंड आई कुड हैव डन सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड दैट्स व्हेन आई थॉट कि यार ऐसा कुछ अभी मुझे यार इंडियन ड्रामर्स के लिए कुछ करना है वेर इन समबडी हु इज नॉट इवन एबल टू कम टू द मेट्रो सिटीज मतलब नॉट इवन फ्रॉम लाइक डेली कैलकटा बॉम्बे की भी बात नहीं कर रहा आई वॉन्टेड टू गेट पीपल फ्रॉम लाइक any of these smaller states and smaller cities where they are not ha- they don't have any idea about all these things you know and that's when we started doing drum camp here in in india so the first one was in 2019 where we took them to uh, to a really amazing place in lonavla by yeah. the lake we got some four five villas and three days of only drums 30 drummers coming from all around the country there were three teachers including me and सुबह ब्रेकफास्ट साथ में करे स्टूडेंट्स के साथ बाद में अपने अपने क्लास पे सब जाएंगे सो एक एक वो जो एक एक ड्रमिंग कम्युनिटी का एक एक मैंने जो एक वॉट डू आई से दे वर लाइक वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड वेरी वेरी लाइक यू नो सेटिस्फाइड समथिंग लाइक दिस इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया यू नो एंड सो दैट द काइंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स वी गॉट वी मेक सो दैट नाउ वी नीड टू डू डू दिस एवरी ईयर सो लास्ट ईयर वी डिड इट इन इन मुंबई इट सेल्फ बिकॉज ऑफ द कोविड से कुड नॉट टेक दम आउट साइड but we did it at the mumbai music institute here for three days and that also at ranjit barot and we featured vivek rajagopalan who's again a carnatic uh, musician so we like to not just as i said ke sirf drums ko information nahi dena nahi dena hai har cheez ka unko ek gyan milna chahiye so there was a percussion is called varun venkat who's a percussionist from pune mm-hmm. uh, and he specialized in west african rhythms so there was a session by him so when the student comes for those three days the amount of information he is taking back and the, the 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 things that he sees around himself i feel will change anybody's life love it you know and that's one 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 reason that i wanted to do it in india and then after that on there on i felt that mujhe at least do teen saal mein aisa ek camp to mujhe khud as a student Uh, attend karna hai right and that's when i went to ireland also and you know sometimes they see hear me drumming and they say bhai why are you here but they don't understand i'm here to not just see the not to just learn but just to get that energy around right. from you know to just to be around masters the people who have just seen on dvds and series aaj main unke sath baith ke coffee pi raha hu main khana kha raha hu to wo ek jo ek uh, validation ha matlab ek, ek jo hota hai ki are yaar inhone mujhe suna aur inhone you know he, he really liked what i did so right. i felt that is very important and just to get that good positive energy from them and then come back to your india and work i mean two things really stand out one is i think you're among those very rare people who have met their heroes and not been disappointed <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> uh second thing is obviously you're you're bringing the community together you're you're sharing learning stuff that you have you know accumulated over so many years accumulated from so many other places making that available to to people who may not ever have the chance to get that so sure. which is just just so commendable and and so heartwarming that that you're, you're that you're doing this and spending time doing this uh, darshan it's it's amazing to see your your dedication to your craft and as and the humility with which you carry it as well right yeah. before i let you go i want to ask you very short snappy quick questions if this is a segment that we call water with vinit we have a glass of water here i'm going to check. drink it we we'll do a cheers <laughs> okay and call it water with vinit yeah i have three questions for you my first question is this the longest one which is why i put it first right over your career if i were to say break it up into three phases right and tell me who your biggest influence in in that phase was i I'm, i'm i'm saying three you can make it four or two or whichever you like but what I, what i really want to know is when you started who did you want to sound like when you were really growing and spreading your wings who did you want to sound like and now where do you want to see your sound go so 
from 90 to 2000 for me i just wanted to wanted to be like my father right for the he was my idol and he was somebody who i was just looking up to and he was teaching me and i just wanted to be like him from 2000 to 2010 i wanted to be like ranjit barot right because like you know it's like the minute he, i saw him that's it game over it was like bas main kya baja raha hu kuch kuch aata hi nahi mujhe karna to matlab wo aisa hi tha ki bas yahi hai aur inke jaisa kuch agar thoda bhi mil gaya unse to bahut hai from 2010 to 2020 i would say that uh, I realize that I don't want to be like anybody. I have to be me. Right. You know, I need to tell my story to the world. I because kya ho jata hai kabhi when you start learning from these masters, you start sounding like them. Right. You know, and uh, and my and and my guru only told me is like, मैं तो हूँ ही मतलब you know, but मुझे आपसे जानना है कि आपकी story क्या है. What are the ups and downs you've gone through in life? You know, your breakups. Your, I want to know your story because her playing me. आपको कुछ एक बंदे का story मिलता है, you know. And that's where I started creating my own sound, and I felt that he's like you've learned things from me. Now you got to unlearn them, right? Which is very very difficult, right? You know, कि ये मुझे आता है, but ये मैं नहीं बजाऊँगा. वो करना बहुत मुश्किल है. तो वो जो face था, उसमें obviously idols तो काफी सारे थे. सबसे बड़े जो आइडल है ऑब्वियसली उस्ताद जाकिर हुसैन उन, उनके साथ एक था एक ड्रीम के कभी तो उनके साथ यू you नो know, स्टेज शेयर करना उनके सामने बजाने का काफी मौका मिला मतलब बिकॉज ऑफ हिज फादर्स बर्सी विच है ऑन एवरी थर्ड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी आई यूज टू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टू प्ले इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम बट एक था कि उनके साथ कभी बजाने का मौका मिला एंड दैट केम ट्रू इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वैन आई गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम हिम सो बस वही था कि उसके बाद ऐसा था कि नाउ इट हैज टू बी दर्शन दो शीज साउंड इट के नॉट बी आई डोंट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू साउंड लाइक एनी बडी एल्स सो दैट्स इट सो यू गॉट टू जस्ट फॉलो दैट दैन ऑसम दैट दैट सच अ ग्रेट एंड कम्प्लीट आंसर माई सेकंड क्वेश्चन टू यू इज वॉट वॉज द बेस्ट गिग यू परफॉर्म एंड वॉट इज द वर्स्ट गिग यू परफॉर्म वर्स्ट गिग तो नहीं बोले <laughs> मुश्किल है मतलब कोई एज ए मैंने पहले ही आपको बोला मेरे लिए कोई वर्स्ट नहीं रहता मतलब इट्स लाइक like, भले मुझे कम बजाना बजाने मिले कि कोई कुछ यू नो ज्यादा यू नो अच्छा क्राउड नहीं मिले ऐसा कुछ रहता है बट ऐसा वर्स्ट गिग तो आई डोंट लाइक नॉट यू प्लेइंग बैडली बट लाइक क्या चल रहा है मैं कहाँ बजा रहा हूँ I'm sure you're really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, मैं ऐसे लोगों के साथ भजा रहा हूँ जैसे मुझे लगे अरे मैं कहाँ आ गया ऐसा कुछ कभी ये नहीं होता. That is perfect. Yeah, and uh, I think my as I said my my one of my favorite gig has to be with Ustad Ji because it's right. like it, it was something that I wanted my father to see me that I have I have reached a stage where I'm able to share my you know share the stage with him. So that was a a, a big big like a क्या बोलते हैं उसको एक एक बड़ा सा dream था कि बस ये तो हो जाए कभी तो वो that that surely will be one of my favorite and the gig which is very close to my where was this this was Shan Mukhan and Dal oh love it yeah right my last question is what next what should fans look forward to from you in the rest of 2022. So obviously you will be seeing me with um, uh, Farhan Akhtar, with Salim Suleiman. Uh, you know I'm working on some uh, uh, project with some independent artists as well. So that's co- coming out soon. I'm also in in the process. We ob- we obviously just released the the live on tour 2021 album. But now I want to do something in the studio mm-hmm. uh, and feature some guest artists from abroad. Really try to do some fusion stuff with them. So that is something that's in the pipeline for this year. and uh, we've been also invited by a lot of jazz festivals after listening to our album so hopefully if covid now doesn't come in in the way we should be playing at some some of the biggest names uh, in the jazz scene as well love it all the very best i know you're you're heading out on tour with farhan akhtar all the best with with that um, heartwarming to hear you talk uh, just so cool of you to to talk about music in such a in a way that everyone can relate to and can can really understand i wish you all the best thank you so much thank for you. being on storytellers and stories i hope you had fun i love uh, it thank you for having me that's it on this episode of storytellers and story sellers if you like this episode give us a shout on social media go to ivm podcast or ascharya fakit that's a s h c h a r y a fakit tell us if you like this episode tell us who else you think we should have on the show that's it from me vinik kanabar this is goodbye hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network On Think Fast, Varun and Suchita discuss Zakir Khan's biryani brand and the PVR Inox merger. On the longest constitution, Priya talks about the legal aspects of cow slaughter in India and how it affects the livelihoods of butchers and other communities. 
On Big Talk with Tiny Humans, Devi Shobha and Meghna share tips on how we can motivate our kids to do better without being a nag. On Hansavani, here's the story, Zehen Me Atka Hua Sa Kuch. It explores the history of the bloodbath and tragedy brought on by religious conflicts. And on Say No to Drama, Chetna decodes the concept of green flags at work and the ones you should look out for. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on, including the one you're listening to us on now. And also, please do check us out on YouTube. We have a number of channels. They're all available on ibmpodcast.com slash YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey to help us understand you, the listener, better and how you like our shows, how you respond to the advertising and so on. We'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to spell it out. It's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, SBI Life Insurance, India Water Portal and Jupiter, a digital banking app. Thank you so much for making this possible. Do you wonder why China does the things that it does? I want to know how we could improve online privacy. Or perhaps you're thinking about how we can kickstart India's economy. If you'd like to search for the answers to such questions, check out All Things Policy, a daily public policy podcast that covers everything from employment figures to aircraft carriers. Tune in from Monday to Friday for new episodes and fresh takes. 